Welcome, this is Team Tan, instrumental training wheel track for para athletes. Currently, there are a vast variety of training equipment for the able-bodied athletes. However, there aren't as many commercially available training apparatus for Paralympic wheelchair racers. And in preparation to the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games, a training system is needed to aid with the wheelchair racer's performance. The aim is to provide wheelchair athletes with training equipment to be used indoor at their own convenience. This project builds and improves on the previous year's system which provides different metrics for the coach and athlete during training. This helps the athlete to improve on their racing performance. Improvements will have been made on the chassis and motors, video processing and human sensing of the old system. Our new system will have four main aspects of the system with significant milestones. The first one is the mechanical system which delivers a 40% weight reduction by replacing the motors and removing the hydraulic jack. A new belt drive system for the motors is implemented, allowing the rollers to be freewheeling and achieving better torque scaling and torque transfer. The next main aspect of the system is human sensing, which delivered two new modalities of core temperature measurement up to an accuracy of 0.1 degrees Celsius and sweat estimation of the athlete body. With the last year's heart rate monitor, all three modalities are combined into a single chest strap called the sense belt. The next main aspect of the system is the user interface and video processing, which firstly delivers a seamless interaction with the user and the system. For video processing, motion tracking is implemented with the use of new cameras that can track the athlete's strike rate and strike angle. The next main aspect is the new and exciting virtual reality component of the system which delivers an immersive virtual racing environment for the athlete. Starting with speed sensing, the virtual reality can mimic the speed of the wheelchair as if the athlete is on a real track. As well as speed sensing, the virtual reality component can also differentiate between right turns and left turns of the wheelchair. In order for the athlete to perform training exercise, seven different levels of assistive training can be selected from the user interface, making it easier for the athlete to turn the wheel at a higher assistive level. On top of that, seven different levels of resistive training can also be selected for strength training. Overall, our system has successfully achieved the aims that have been originally set out at the start of this project. However, due to restrictions in our budget and time constraints, we were not able to implement some additional stretch features. Those features are bi-directional power supply along with four quadrant drives, making the training resistance to be more significant. A user interface on a smartphone app and sweat sensing on the chest instead of the fingers. These features would be considered for later revisions of the system. If the stretch features were to be completed, the developed system would see high marketing potential both to professional athletes and common users.